Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to cover the file input and output quiz. There are not very many questions, so let's start. The very first question that I have on my side is what is the O flag used to open a file in mode read and write? So in short, what they're asking here is what is the flag that will be used when you want to either write or read. So here the very first one is read only, the second is, sorry, the first is write only, the second is read only, and the third is read and write. So this is what they're asking for. So the answer is this very last one, read and write. The next question that I do have on my side is what is the uni standard symbolic constant for the standard output? So make sure you've gone through the content previously. There's a video and there is a link to to um, our Wikipedia page. So make sure you read that. So the very first one is standard input. The next is standard output. And the last is standard error. So here the symbolic constant that is used to represent standard output is the second one on my side. The third question that I have is, what is the unistandard symbolic constant for standard input? We looked at this. This is the very first one, stdin underscore file number. The next question that I do have is, what is the standard, the symbolic constant for standard error? And the very last one, stderr, that is the one that will represent standard error. So the next question that is there is, without context on Ubuntu 1404, Right, right is a system call. Uh, so what is it? So that is what they're asking what it is. So if you've read the, or if you've skimmed through the content, you will know that there are some very common ones that you're supposed to make sure we have understood. There is read, there is open, there is close, and there is write. Those are the four main basic ones. There are more, but those are the main ones. If you want a video explaining that, also let us know and we will do that as well. But here what this is, write is one, a system call, and two, it is an executable. It is an executable because once it is used, it is going to carry out a specific task and that specific task or its function or whatever it's going to do makes it an executable. It is not a game and it is not a library call and it is not a kernel routine. So for number five, question hashtag five, is when I am using this, this whatever is here, the um, pipe operator, this one, whatever is dividing the plug is a bitwise operator. So the, they're asking whether this is true or false. And in this case, it is very true and we'll look into why it is true. So this is true because this pipe symbol, it is used in C programming as a bitwise OR operator. And what it will do is it will perform the OR, bitwise OR operation on the operands, on the two operands that it's been given. So here the very first two operands are this very first flag and the OR create. So this first pipe will be used on this operand and this operand. So only two operands. So that is what makes it a bitwise or operator that is used on two operands. So when you use it, let's say, for example, with the open system call, what you're going to say or what you want basically to do is you want to combine this um, flags with the pipe, which is now the bit wise operator that symbol this is also called a pipe and what it is going to do is it is going to combine these values and then create one um, series of operands and the value will now be passed now whatever will be obtained from this will be passed into the call the, the open system call and it will indicate that what will happen first is open the file which is this very first one it's saying we only want to open the file in write only mode and if it is not there let's create it 
so that is what it's going to do and then once this has happened we will also want to append um whatever it is that we have into that file and write into it so that's basically it so at the end of the day this pipe operator is a bitwise operator and that makes it true so the next question is what is the correct combination of off lag used to open a file with the mode write only create it if it doesn't exist and then append so this is the very same as what we have looked at over here so what is going to happen is you're going to open a file open the file if you use this uh, series of flags with a system call and here they're saying you're going to use the open system call and they want to do that in write only mode and then create it if it doesn't exist and then append new content at the end of it if it already exists if this content already already doesn't it will just append whatever is there and the correct answer is this one the very last one on my side the next question is which of these answers are equivalent of read and write on ubuntu so in short like instead of doing all this what else can you do with this so the answer is three and two two one is lesser and lesser than one and the next one is um this one right only is lesser and lesser than one so here a tip is if you want to use printf or read the headers to see the definitions then please do and do so so that you're able to understand this uh the next question that we have here is why always ask why and the question is why should you always ask why the best answer to this is because most of the time i will read the standard input which is value one standard output as value sorry standard input as value zero standard output as value one and standard error as value two is opened when my program starts executing the others really don't make sense um for example i don't care i never ask why just let me access the tasks this is not a very good approach to have especially when you're programming always ask why what is happening that you're able to understand more and more and the next one is because this will be the first open file descriptor and in cs we start counting from zero this is not really true this first bit is not true but the second bit makes sense uh, in programming we start indexing and counting from zero so that is the answer for this question the next one is open a function or a system call and here we're supposed to select all that are valid um it is not a kernel routine no it's not a kernel routine it is a function that makes sense it is definitely a function it is a system call definitely for sure it is one of the system call that we've looked at and it is a function that is provided by the kernel this is true it is a function provided by the kernel so that we are able to communicate with the kernel it is definitely not a library call so um if you look at the first one a kernel routine a kernel routine is like a function that is now part of the operating system kernel like part of the kernel itself and it will be provided for like very low level functionality that the operating system will use so in this case open is not part of the kernel system it is just part of the shell and this are two separate entities but they help um communicate with each other the last one which is a library call a library call is like a a construct or an item that will allow a program to use functions that are in an external defined in an external library but here this function or system call is not defined in an external library and it's not helping us like use that function or another function that is defined somewhere else so those two are out so the next question is what system call would you use to write to a file descriptor and here we are supposed to select all correct answers the very correct one is right and if you want to know more about the different system calls just let us know and we will have a video for that the next question is most of the time on a classic modern linux system what will be the value of the first file descriptor you will get after opening a new file so and here they're saying when you open a new file with open and open like 
successfully um, runs and executes. And here the next um, value for the very first file descriptor we will have is three because zero, one, and two have been reserved for standard input, standard output, and standard error. So the next available one that is um, available for use is the value three. And here, three will be our correct answer because that is the value that will be given to the first file descriptor that you will use when you're opening a new file. The next question is what happens if you try to write best to the standard input on Ubuntu? So when you try and do this, it will have that text or any other text that you have printed on the terminal to the standard output that you're able to see. So if you're not so sure about this, you can just quickly do the same and um, on your environment that you're using and it will give you that exact text that you have actually written. The next question that we have which is the second last is what is the flag or flag used to open a file with the mode read only and that is this rd only the very first one is write only the second is read only and the last is read and write the next and final question that i have on my side is what is the return value of the system call open if it fails and in this case it is negative one and negative one is the value that is most of the time um put aside for us to get it will we will always get negative one or most of the time get negative one when there is an error somewhere with most of the system calls and any positive integer might indicate something different but negative one has been reserved to specifically indicate errors or failure of execution so that is it for today and until next time keep coding